but I've sent this note through the diplomatic pouch to make sure you got it. Here less than a month, and already I've managed to get an invitation to my first social affair. It's a Bastille Day garden party at the private residence of the Jean-Pierre Armand, the French ambassador. I expect the party will be a little more stuffy than the 4th of July barbecues we used to throw in the Hamptons. But it's a good opportunity for me to make some important contacts within the Chilean diplomatic and business communities. I know how opposed you were to my posting here. <laughs> Heck, you were against me being posted anywhere. But I'm confident in my ability to meet whatever challenges Foreign Service throws my way. Ladies and gentlemen, playing the hero will only make you dead. Please be happy for me, Daddy. I don't think I've ever been happier in my life. Love, Allison. Miguel Peralta, 28 years old, economics degree from the University of Mexico with advanced studies in social reform. AKA terrorism from two years in Cuba. Peruvian by birth, Peralta spends most of his time hiding out in the mountains of Chile. Calls himself commander in chief of the Sendero Luminoso. Shining path? Don't those people read the paper? Marxism is dead. They're zealots, Matt. Reality has nothing to do with their behavior. So why is that our problem? It's my problem. My daughter is one of the hostages. Members of the Shining Path took over the residence of the French ambassador to Chile. They're holding 40 hostages, including staff and domestic help. What do they want? The usual, the release of their imprisoned comrades. I didn't know the Chilean government negotiated with terrorists. Chile's only been a democracy for seven years. This is a first for them. Hard to say what they'll do. Where's the Pentagon on this? Frozen out. The Chilean government refuses any help in resolving this mess. Ah, oh, pity that. And just because we haven't been invited to the party doesn't mean we can't crash it. I do so love a party. Everybody knows the drill. You turn this around in 48 hours or it drags on for months and people die. We're right behind you, boss. Roger that. Nice wheels. You live in here? Sometimes. Just part of being careful. We've never been formally introduced, Mr. Chubb. Margot Vincent. My pleasure, Miss Vincent. Mr. Yates. This is the latest in micro-digital electronics. It's a three-chip mini video can. Mm, tasty. You'll have military transport at Edwards. There goes my frequent flyer, Miles. We'll be in Santiago inside 12 hours. We? We don't work with outsiders. I'm not an outsider, Mr. Yates. I invented you. I invented all of you. Let me explain something, Trout. There's just five of us on this team. I'm going to be on the ground in the field of play. Are we clear? It's my daughter.
explosivos? Todo está listo. El perímetro está seguro. Están los pasaportes. El señor a la derecha es el embajador de Francia. Checa los muchachos. Señor ambassador, please forgive the inconvenience of all this. What do you want? Twenty-three of my comrades are held prisoners while they await extradition to Peru. I want them released, and all of us given safe passage to Cuba. The Chilean government will never do that. Then I will need 43 caskets for you and your guests. Are you really that cold-blooded? Actually, I'm quite warm-blooded, even passionate. I am also a committed social revolutionary. Don't test my resolve, Mr. Ambassador. Why is it I have no passport for you, senorita? I didn't know I'd be needing one. Of course. You're an American. <laughs> Above the law. Your name? Jones. Excuse me? Jones. Allison Jones. Jones. Are you with the State Department? I'm a fall clerk. <laughs> they must be important files for your government to send you all the way to Chile. Muy bien. Right away, Ambassador. Xavier, Vernon. You should have sent word. I would have met you at the airport. That's all right. We wanted to attract as little attention as possible. My passport identifies me as an assistant deputy undersecretary to South America. Miss Vinson is traveling as my executive assistant. These men are here to help bolster the embassy's garrison. My orders from Washington and Santiago to keep hands off. And you'll do just that, which is why I'm not going to tell you much. But I would appreciate any help you can give us. Corporal, step in here, please. Please see to our guests. Give them whatever they need. Aye, aye, sir. Thank you, Vernon. The officers bunk upstairs. Unless it's got a separate barracks out back. Let's skip the bunks for now, Corporal. Which way to the armory? No ranks, no flashes, no unit patches, no name tags. Corporal, whatever it is you think you know, you forget. British Royal Network News. Here you go, senor. I'm Coronel Jesus Bernardo, the Chileno Special Forces. Terrorists have invited the media, but only those with live feeds to join them for a press conference. I'm seeking volunteers. Right here, mate. I've got a live feed and a short deadline. Turn it on when I tell you, and you turn it off when I tell you. Sure thing, love. It's your show. Well, at least tell me you love me. Chance. Yo. What's the story in those two babes? Hey, you know the rules, buddy. Don't have. Don't have. Corporal, 
What would it take to get our hands on a chopper? Military or civilian? No, civilian. Military takes too much paperwork. That's right, Corporal. We're really not the paperwork kind of guys. What the hell is going on here? Who are these people rooting through my equipment? Sergeant, they refuse to identify themselves. Sergeant Hanson, we're guests of the ambassador. Ambassador Fitzgerald said to give them whatever they want. They said they wanted weapons. When I woke up this morning, security for the embassy and its staff was my responsibility. Now, unless I've been relieved, I command this garrison and its weapons. Thank you, Sergeant. Now, you're going to give me the straight poop, or you're going to see the inside of my brig. Careful now, Sergeant. We all got to get out of jail free card. Sergeant. Don't you feel the cosmic forces at work here? You do not want to place yourself squarely between an irresistible force on its way to a collision with an immovable object. Now, do you, Sergeant? Staff Sergeant, maybe you should check with the Ambassador. Let's get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Bastille Day party and this happens. Bastille Day. Leave it to the French to celebrate a prison there. break. There she is. Damn it, man. Stop moving the camera. We have to see the whole picture. I know, I know. Come on. You shouldn't be here. You wouldn't say that if it was your daughter in there. No, but I'll never have to worry about that. My name is Miguel Peralta. I'm the commander in chief of Sendero Luminoso. My brothers and sisters are political prisoners of the government of Chile. We come here as a force of freedom, of liberation.
You aren't helping her or yourself. Why did I ever let her talk me into approving this station? God only knows. She could have gone somewhere safe. Switzerland, Denmark, anywhere she wanted. Some people find safe going. I should never have allowed Allison to talk me into following my footsteps. Her assignment here isn't just a paid summer vacation? No. Allison is a bona fide field operative. This is her rookie posting as case officer. Well, thank God. She's been through training. She has something to fall back on to get her through this. Miss Vinson, we're not talking about stabbing mannequins or shooting paper targets. The girl's barely 24 years old. She's a woman, isn't she? Yes, but what can she possibly do? You'd be surprised. Very little surprises me anymore. Give me the cuerpo on the part of the Members of the press. If you have made dinner plans for this evening, accept my apologies. You'll be dining with us tonight. Colonel Bernardo. Está bien, Capitán. Te puede ir. Señor Trout. I'm honored. Welcome. You know my name. I attended last winter's South American Conference on Terrorism. I found your seminar on employing the preemptive strike as a tool in counterterrorism to be most enlightening. I'm glad. Then you'll understand why I'm here. There's only one American among the hostages, a young lady. The United States government opposes terrorism regardless of the number of its citizens at risk. The U.S. is no different than Chile in this regard, senor. Colonel, I'm empowered to offer you troops, logistics, hardware, whatever it takes to get those people out of there safely. Chile is able to handle its own internal affairs. Thank you. We have a great deal of experience in these things. Yes. I watch with great interest your sieges at Ruby Ridge and Waco. So you refuse our help? We have cut off the terrorists' electricity and water. Soon they will tire of thirst and inoperative toilets. How soon? We're willing to wait as long as it takes. <laughs> about the press? What's their take on this? Unfortunately, the terrorists have not sent them back out. So you've added to the hostage count. They were volunteers. Colonel, I'm sure you're aware that when it comes to meaningful negotiations, Shining Path has a dismal record. They've killed for their cause and proven more than once their willingness to die for it. Then die they shall. It is the one wish I'm willing to grant them. That's just terrific but it says absolutely nothing about the safe return of the hostages. How'd it go inside? Compared to what? The colonel has a bad case of territorial imperative. What'd you find? You're stealing from the Peruvian playbook. You're digging tunnels. It's a brilliant tactic for taking down the Japanese ambassadors, huh? Which is precisely why it's so predictable here. Yeah, it has about as much chance of working as yesterday's lottery numbers. I've replayed all the tapes and Peralta's anticipating another tunnel entry. Check it out. I freeze it here. 
Push in like so. What does that look like to you? Some kind of meter. Size monitor. If they have probes buried on the property, they'll read any vibrations caused by excavation. And they'll be ready, waiting for anybody trying to come in. Man. We need to move fast before the colonel turns this whole thing into a slaughter. Well, it's going to be tough pulling rank on these people. Exactly. So we work with Peralta, break his people out of jail before Colonel Bernardo forces Peralta's hand. What? You are losing that trial. Would just be the next step in the negotiating process. Who said yield to terrorists and you open the floodgates? You said that, remember? I'm trying to save my daughter's life, Matt. We defuse this situation, give Peralta what he wants today, running to the ground tomorrow. Got some activity. Our demands are quiet, soon. It's time for the democratic governments of the world to encourage the Chilean leaders to comply. Either my Sendero Luminoso brothers and sisters are released from captivity within the next hour, or we will begin to execute the hostages. These are lives you hold in your hands. Men and women whose fate you will be deciding. It's now 8 o'clock. You have exactly one hour to decide who lives and who dies. Even if we agree to break Peralta's people out of prison, we don't have the time. Corporal Drago, I need for you to get us that helicopter. We need it now. Helicopter? For what? You want us to help you? Let us do what we do best. You give these amateurs way too much credit. They don't hold a candle to the IRA or Hamas. Hell, even the Libyans. They've been around. Well, then you know they've got no intention of letting us go. You know that for a fact, do you? I started the type. I did my master's thesis on it. Peralta is a classic. He's messianic. Paranoid, delusional. I'd rather deal with Gaddafi. You only say that because you haven't. I know what I'm talking about. Well, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Your father said you're a pistol. Yeah, he's close by. Hola. Hola, Coronel Bernardo. Contésteme, Coronel, yo sé que me está escuchando. Apaguen esa maldita música, Coronel. La música se queda. ¿Qué puedo hacer por usted, señor Peralta? Grabaciones inmediatamente. Empezaré a ejecutar a los rehenes ahora mismo. No, no. No me ignore, Coronel. Tienes mi palabra. Que no vamos a excavar más. Usted no me mentiría, ¿verdad? ¿O sí? Paran de excavar. Preparan cada tropa para un asalto final en 10 minutos. Sí, coronel. Allison wasn't even supposed to be here. I was still at Fort Benning when the doctors told Patty and me we couldn't have children. We were upset, of course, but we adjusted like you do when you hear disappointing news. 
Obviously, they were wrong because two years later, Patty found herself pregnant. We threw ourselves a big party. Couldn't stop grinning. The pregnancy was difficult. Patty was confined to bed, but we didn't much care because we were just thrilled at the idea of being parents. In seven months, she went into labor. Doctors gave her a zero chance. For three weeks, I didn't move more than five feet from that child's bassinet. All I did was stroke her little hand and watch her sweet little face. I wanted her to be there when she opened her eyes. I wanted her to see her daddy and know that she was loved more than anything in the world. God didn't take her from me then. This bastard's not going to take her now. Trout is losing it. So is our surveillance. problem. Miguel. Tráeme todas las que encuentro. once you've heard it. Especially in my business. Your name, senorita, has earned you a special assignment. and deceits in return. Instead of negotiating with good faith, they dig tunnels to try and catch us off guard. They smuggle in miniature cameras to watch our movements. Authorities prefer deception and lies to the truth. Therefore, I have chosen the first hostage to be executed. Say hello to Senorita Allison Trout. Senorita Trout has only 25 minutes to live. You held up this five minutes out. Pass me a weapon. No. Thanks, Sergeant. I'm going with you. Negative. We're doing this my way. Shepard, there is no way I am not going in to save my daughter. Now pass me a weapon. Heads up. 
Ammo. You have to strip that weapon first, sir. Make sure she's good to go. There's no time for that, son. Should take all of a minute. Look, I'm an M16 man. I've never fired an HK. With all due respect, sir. Until you can field strip that weapon, swap out a mag, or clear a jam on the fly, you have no business in the field. Sorry, sir. Don't make me beg, Matt. If Allison needed surgery, would you insist on being on the operating team? I would do everything I could to help. Sir, I can field strip this weapon with my tongue, and I can shoot bullets with my teeth. Now, can you help me do that? We can. Embassy guards aren't just white gloves and brass buttons. Every one of my men is a combat veteran. We're the best of the best, and we're good to go. We appreciate that. I'm gonna need a little time and a lot of darkness. Now, if you two can provide that for me, then you've done more than your share. Got it. Should you survive this adventure, senorita? Please, tell your father to stay out of South America. Climb to 3,000 feet, two miles upwind of the French ambassador's residence. If you go down to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you better not close your eyes. Cause every bear that ever there was is gathered there together because today's the day teddy bears have their pick. See, I'm very busy. We know you're planning to storm the residence, Colonel. That would be a mistake. But it is mine to make. You have no portfolio here. We're at 3,000 feet.
rehenes. Don't be so anxious to die. Mira, ve qué está pasando. Sí, coronel. You will be held to answer for this outrage and your trout. It comes with the territory, Colonel. One way or another, it'll all be over in less than a minute. It's clear except for Alice. más fuerte la Except for one. The hostages. Safe upstairs. Except for Allison. Hold your fire! Guys! Colonel Bernardo! I want safe passage over the border. You will go to prison. Or to the devil. Nowhere else. Talk to me, boys. No choice, sir. Don't be a fool, Colonel. This is the daughter of a very important American. I'm the one you want, Parole. Oh, no. Take me instead. My government will pay a great deal for my safe return. Maybe another time. Right now, I prefer things this way. I have a shot, Major. I'm waiting, Colonel! It is on your head if this young lady dies because of pride! Stand by, Benny Ray. Allison. Remember your training. I'm not afraid to die, but I take care with me. They're good, sweetie. Real good. I have a daughter as well. Congratulations, Colonel, on a successful operation. Washington will be pleased. Donna! Stay here. Sure I do. I signed on for a job. I have to see it through. It's the way I was raised. Yeah. 
handled yourself well. The truth is, I was scared to death. You weren't the only one. Really? Have I ever lied to you? Are we counting the tooth fairy? That was your mother's idea. She said it was yours. I had a long talk with Margot Vincent. She's one very cool lady. Made me realize I still have a lot to learn. Don't we all? It's quite an admission, Dad. Which, if quoted, I will categorically deny. A daring counter strike against fanatical counterfeiters bent on economic Armageddon. Soldier of Fortune.